Hi, I'm Frank Gitson. I'm here in my office. I'm here to talk about permanent total disability within the Florida's workers' compensation statute. In 2003, the legislature, under the direction of Governor Bush, made it very difficult to get lifetime benefits until the age of 75. In order to do that, you must prove a couple of things. Number one, that you've had a complete head injury. Number two, that you've lost vision in both of your eyes. Number three, that you've lost both of your legs. Or number four, you've lost both of your arms. The one that we litigate and the one that we fight over is that you must prove that you have a sedentary work restriction. That means that you have to have a sit down work restriction from your boss, strike that from the doctor, and the boss doesn't have a job for you, and you can't find a job within 50 miles. And that means we've got to prove that you can't be a toll booth collector, you can't be a security guard, an eyeglass assembler, some sit down position. The way that we do this is that we job search and you must look for a couple hundred jobs and not obtain one in order for the judge of compensation of claims to do it. We also look at your overall education and something called transferable skills. Those are skills that you have. Before you came to Florida, let's say you were a cab dispatcher in New York City. Well, if you could do that in New York, well, maybe you could work for Mears in Orlando and say car 54, go to 1st and 8th Avenue. They're very difficult. The last thing that I work on is the pain level. If I can get you to a pain management doctor, then that pain management doctor may say that you're going to miss three or four days a month because of your pain discomfort, then that's kind of the ace in the hole. If you have any questions about a serious injury on the job in Florida and whether you're entitled to checks to the age of 75, visit my website, frankitson.com, or pick up the phone and call me, 407-245-2887. Thank you so much for listening.